Breaking news! This just in. Live from Stewart's News, invaders are here. The severity of the situation is not yet known. The Illinois River is not safe. I repeat, the Illinois River is not safe. We understand that the silver carp are brought here in the 1970s by fishermen farmers who wanted to clear the algae from the catfish ponds. But now they're loose and they're invading our rivers. That's right. We have to keep them from invading the Great Lakes too. If you think Illinois has money problems now, think about the damage those carp would cause if they reached the lakes. We have rod fishermen at the Illinois River to report this awful attack. Rod, can you hear me? Yeah, um, I'm here live on the Illinois River, where silver carp have taken over. Right now, we have an assault on all fronts. These 20-pound fish can leap up to 10 feet out of the water, threatening to hit water skiers, boulders, and anyone in their path like a ton of bricks. Right now, I'm with a local fisherman who has had some first-hand accounts with these nasty carp. Well, I was just standing outside fishing one day, minding my own business, when I was attacked. They came out of nowhere. I was powerless. Well, they came flying out of the sky like big old fish bombs. What was worse than falling into a barrel of fish hooks, which happens more than you care to know of. Illinois residents, this is no laughing matter. These carp are brutal, and I've been spotted less than 50 miles from Lake Michigan. Oh man, it's happening again! I'm out of here! <laughs> Silver custom we came from Asia. We busted out of the catfish farms and went into the Illinois and Mississippi rivers. What other 20 pound fish do you know that can cause so many problems? Why don't you tell me about some of these problems you cause? Problems? We don't have any problems. We're just taking advantage of the delicious plankton that your native species have been taking to themselves. We just, just went too big for predators. We just laugh at all the intimidation because ho, ho, ho. Your native species, I mean, your native fish don't stand a chance against us. We are literally the biggest fish on the block. And they can't stop us. Lake Michigan, here we come. There you have it, folks. A first hand interview with the carp themselves. Look out, Lake Michigan, here they call. Illinois residents, how are we ever going to start, stop these carp from terrorizing our lakes? You're just blowing today. I know, Wade, I'm so hot. 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 i am so hot 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 i
I don't want to start no commotion, but I want to talk about that soil erosion. Now, I knew that it was time to say enough is enough, when my favorite fishing hole got full of that stuff. It's time to take action, the time is now to get it out of the streams and underneath the cow. So listen to my rapping, listen to me good. You know, a fish can't live in no fucking mud. Got to say the streams. Got to say the streams. Now, a fish ain't a bird. You know it can't fly, but it still needs trees. I'm going to tell you why. The trees go right next to the stream. They keep the water cool, and you know they keep it clean. So when you see a tree there, just leave it alone. You know it's heaven like a right period. So listen to my rapping. You know what I mean? We need trees by the river. Not your soy bean. Got to save the stream. Got to save the stream. Called channelization. It's so dumb, it's so stupid that it's really amazing. The river likes to float around just like a snake. Some joker goes in and he wants to make a straight. It's a thing that doesn't string a whole lot of harm. You might as well drop the ass to the bomb. So listen to my rapping. Don't be me. We got to get that joker right out of the creek. Got to save the stream. Got to save the stream. Got to save the stream. Got to save the stream.